Hello, everybody. Spirit Ford Incorporated versus Gerardo El Calcio. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Michelle Harrell appearing for Spirit Ford. Case number 22C3359. Good afternoon. I'm right here, dear honor. Please state your name. Throughout all calorie here. Now, am I wrong? Or is this person continuously saying dear honor? Dear honor. Thank you. All right. Um, we're here today. Is this on the motion um, for entry of default and granting of a default judgment against defendant Gerardo Alcalca Rivera? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Yes, it's our motion. Um, Your Honor, we um, are seeking a default judgment in the amount due on the vehicle. This was a vehicle purchase. Uh, Mr. Riv Rivera signed the purchase agreement but failed to pay and he has no defense he did not answer the second amended complaint he did not answer requests for admissions and other discovery we filed and served this motion on him and so today we're asking for default judgment in the amount due on the purchase agreement which is twenty four thousand three forty four and 53 cents and um that's what we're asking for today your honor Mr. Uh, Alcalca Rivera, you're here today. Did you get served with these documents and failed to respond, sir? Yes, dear honor, but my health, my health has decreased. I've been in medical for mm -hmm. the last... What'd you say? Mm -hmm. um, my health has declined. I see. Okay. And I didn't have time. I've uh, been trying to save my health. It was going down. I can't do nothing i'm on I'm a bed rest at the moment okay. so you're requesting some additional time to be able to respond yes well why didn't you answer the um complaint when it was filed initially because um uh, i have to take some time out from work i almost lost one of my limbs and i've been in excruciating pain okay. and i've been on, on um a lot of medications as well and they told me to take it easy. My doctor advised me to take it easy. Thank you. So in this particular case, Mr. Alcalca Rivera did file an answer to the initial amended complaint, <laughs> but did not assert any amend, uh, affirmative defenses. But you're indicating that when you put the second, the first amended complaint on July 27th? Yes, Your Honor, there was a second amended complaint filed and also the discovery requests which included requests for admissions were not responded to and there and beyond that there there just is no defense i'm i'm sympathetic to mr rivera's situation um but this case has been pending for two years and um there's just no defense to not paying the agreement and breaching the contract so um so we request the judgment your honor today well, you know, the fact that this matter has been going on all this time is not um, Mr. Alcalca Rivera's um, decision all along. There were um, additional defendants who've been brought in in this matter, and the, the, the attorneys have requested additional time with respect to those particular issues, and the courts granted that time, correct? Correct, Your Honor. Yes. And so the, the fact that there may be a defense is not... Uh, something that's done through default typically um, is done through a motion for summary disposition. I think the default was initially being filed. Um, well, actually he showed up. I think he didn't show up initially on the last hearing date, uh, June 20th, but then he actually showed up and was present. Discovery has concluded in this matter? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Alcalca Rivera, when you showed up initially in this particular case, you had indicated that you weren't the purchaser of the vehicle, but you did sign the actual agreement, correct? Yes. Your default in this case um, asked for a default based on failure to respond to requests to admits. Yes, Your Honor. Those were sent back on January 12th of 2024 to Mr. Alcalca Rivera? Yes, Your Honor. 
When did your health issue become an issue, Mr. Sir? It's, it's been since last year. It started last year, but it keeps coming. Uh, it's coming. It's gone and leaving, and then now it got worse. I've been trying to save my limb for last this last year, year, year and a half. They don't know what's going on with my health. They just told me to take it easy. So I'll counsel you. Part of the reason why this is such an issue today is because you don't have an attorney who can advise you regarding the, the, the matters that are before the court. And you were served with those uh, requests to admit back on January 24th when you don't respond to those. Um, then what can happen is you can uh, automatically receive a uh, default, meaning that you lose this case. And part of those requests request to admits indicate that uh, you purchased the vehicle for third parties from other digital ships before and defaulted upon those loans as well. And that you delivered the vehicle to Lindsay and allowed him to take possession of it and use it and conceal the vehicle. And that you uh, perpetrated a fraud upon Spirit Ford. And you didn't respond. It was not, it was not a fraud. They offered me some money, dear honor, to sign that contract. And they offered me five hundred dollars. Well, that's a fraud, sir. That 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 is the fraud. But uh, no, that was I did it with a good heart. I that's didn't know not, some that, that's not a good heart. All right. I am very uh, sympathetic to the fact that you are having uh, medical issues at this point. But the reality is that I don't see how you're ever going to get uh, get past this issue in the first place. The fact of the matter is that you may deny some of the admissions in this case, even if I give you time to do so, but you, you signed the contract. Now, whether it was perpetrated as a fraud or not, um, doesn't uh, negate the fact that it makes you responsible for the contract since you signed it. So okay, to your honor. Um, based on that, I am going to grant the motion for a default. You need to submit a, a document, uh, a default judgment to that effect, Counselor. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Rivera, I hope your, your health improves. Thank you. Default judgment is granted in this case in the amount um, uh, requested. Um, the judgment needs to be submitted to this court within seven days. I would suggest you submit it under the seven-day rule or... Um, submit it today and I'll sign it today, but otherwise it needs to submit be submitted on a seven day order. Yes, Your Honor. It's it's attached as exhibit five to our motion. I don't know if if you have a copy. Yeah, it's, all tacked, down. it's all tacked down in the file. Give me one moment. Okay. All right, I'm signing the order in this case in the amount of twenty four thousand three hundred and forty four dollars and fifty three cents. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. You're all set. Thank you. You have a good day. Thank you. Credit Acceptance Corp versus Donald Gordon, case number 19C1054. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Attorney Ashley Notice Hartman on behalf of plaintiff. Good afternoon. Is Donald Gordon present? If so, please unmute your device and state your name. Yes, Your Honor. Hello. My name is Donald Gordon. Good afternoon, Mr. Gordon. All right. Good afternoon. We're here on a motion to uh, set aside the default in this particular case. Uh, actually, Your Honor, I'm going uh, to let you know that I, I, I'm not trying to uh, uh, set aside the emotion. I know I do owe this money. Only issue I had with this in the first place is the mail that they sent to an address that I haven't lived in since 2017. So I'm not disputing at all. Okay, so Judge, based on that, and I apologize because our computer systems are down, so I don't have our response in front of us or his motion. But based on that, he's admitting to the debt and admitting owing, which is one of the prongs of the court rules is that he doesn't have a meritorious defense. Therefore, his motion should be denied under the court rules. And I would ask also ask for fees and sanctions MCL 600 2591 as this motion would be frivolous. He knows he owes. He knows he has no objection to that. So I'm not sure why he didn't contact our office for a payment plan rather than make us come to court today. I think his complaint is that he didn't get proper service, ma'am. And I'm not going to issue some sanctions against an in, in appropriate defendant. Thank you, Your Honor. And Judge, I apologize. May I just state one more thing for the record? You may. Thank you. Also, this is a 2019 case. I assume the judgment was also entered in 2019? 
or even 2020, um, his motion would ultimately be untimely under the court rules as well. So he's got an untimely motion, no meritorious defense. So even if service was an issue at this point, it's just not an arguable um, argument that he can make. And considering he owes, again, I would just suggest he contacts our office and we can work out some type of resolution. Why can't he talk to you about that today? Oh, he can. I just don't have his, I can't pull up his file because our system's down. So I don't know what his current balance is. I don't know if there's a garnishment. I really, unfortunately, yeah, okay. rely on technology too much. And uh, since our system's down, I, I, I have nothing. So it'd probably be best if he gave us a call tomorrow. Yeah, honor. They started garnishing my check before I even knew I even uh, was garnished. And uh, like I said, I didn't get any mail to come to court or anything because I haven't lived at the address since 2017. So if they well, something there is 2019, I wasn't there. I didn't get no uh, indication of anything. They just garnished my check. If I had got the mail that I was supposed to get to the addresses that I do have on my license, which are different, then I would have been in the court that day to even work this out. I would have never missed. Well, I think the problem that we seem to have with this file is uh, that when it was initially issued, apparently your firm didn't do a postal check. That would be really strange if we didn't because we do that automatically at the time of filing suit. So I'm not sure, again, I don't have my system, so I can't tell how he was served. Was he served by alternative service or personal service? I assume alternate if he's claiming he wasn't served. Well, there was a statement. Uh, I wasn't served. I, mean, I don't live at the address. Please stop talking. There is a motion motion for the alternate service in here that says that postal verification was sent to the post office but there is no documentation that that actually happened and um it looks like it was done at alternate service to the same address that he's saying he didn't reside at through Packing, which he wouldn't be there in first class mail. I don't see any certified receipt. Any wait one second. I, I see where it says it was sent to that address by first class receipt, but I don't see a return of that. And I'll, I'll let you know, counselor, um, if there's tacking, I see just tacking at an address that um, we don't have postal verification on. So I understand your argument that it's been past the time frame. However, um, the reality is if it wasn't properly served, then that's a problem for me. So I'm gonna adjourn this and the two of you should talk and I'm gonna adjourn this, like I said, and the two of you should talk in the interim time period and see if we can work out anything. Great, thank you, Your Honor. And in the meantime too, I'll also look for those um, service issues that we have just so the court would have those for the record. I'm sure we have those on file. Okay. Um, and then, Mr. Gordon, if you just want to contact our office tomorrow, we can discuss res resolving it, okay? Okay. The, All right. Uh, oh, good. Motion for the Thank you. Can I finish talking, please? The motion for uh, the Your Honor, I got, one. Oh, I got one question for you, Your Honor. Sir, sir, please quit talking over me. The motion for the default right. in this particular case is going to be adjourned to September 26, 2024 at 2.15 p.m. Everyone should have a chance to work through the service issue and okay. see if they can get a resolution between now and then. What is your question, sir? Okay, uh, on the garnishment thing, um, I'm still getting garnished, so it's... So first of all, your issue... Uh, garnishment is not before me today okay yes ma'am you have to Got file it. a separate motion regarding that sir okay okay all right thank all you right. thanks Jeff. Thank have you, a good day You're talk welcome. to you soon Mr. Gordon. you too thank you be safe be well sleep sweet and much love